Uh, so now we'll have Senator Wicker and Senator Hyde-Smith introduce Mr. Ozerden, who's going to be the nominee to the United States Circuit uh, Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. He's uh, currently a district court judge. Senator Wicker. Thank you very much, Senator Graham and Ranking Member Durbin. It's my great pleasure to appear before you and before this committee to introduce, uh, along with Senator Hyde-Smith, to introduce Judge Halil Suleiman Ozerden and his family to the committee. The son of an immigrant, Judge Ozerden was an Eagle Scout, a distinguished combat veteran, a leader in his church and community, and has been a federal district court judge for the last 12 years. Judge Ozerden has my strong support and that of Senator Hyde Smith. He also had the support of our former colleague and dear friend to members of the committee, the late Senator Thad Cochran. Indeed, I'm told that the last conversation the late Senator Cochran had with his former chief of staff was uh, to receive a progress report on the nomination of Judge Ozerden. Um, when President Trump announced Judge Ozerden's nomination, I stated that his judicial and academic achievements alone qualify him for this position, but his good character experience as a Navy fighter pilot and record of volunteerism and community involvement also are exemplary. I would like to expand on that today. Sewell Ozerden was born in 1966 in Hattiesburg, Mississippi to Turkish immigrants, Halil and Candace Ozerden. Sewell grew up in Gulfport and was the salutatorian of his Gulfport High School graduating class. He attended Georgetown University's prestigious School of Foreign Service on a Navy ROTC scholarship where he graduated magna cum laude. After graduation, Sewell fulfilled his service commitment as an AE-63 bombardier. He flew 14 combat missions over Iraq as part of Operation Southern Watch and over Somalia as part of Operation Restore Hope. For his combat service, Sewell Ozerden was awarded the Navy Commendation Medal. He also participated in 294 carrier landings, a testimony to his nerves and fortitude. After leaving the Navy, Sewell attended Stanford Law School, where he was a member of the Stanford Law Review. After graduating, he clerked in New Orleans for Judge Eldon Fallon. In 1999, Judge Ozerden joined one of the great law firms in South Mississippi, Dukes, Dukes, Keating, and Fanica, where he litigated cases in federal courts in Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, and even Delaware. He represented a variety of clients in a wide range of cases, including civil rights cases, contract disputes, and bankruptcies. In 2006, my predecessor, Senator Trent Lott, and Senator Cochran recommended to President Bush that he nominate Sewell Ozerden to the District Court for the Southern District of Mississippi. And in 2007, the Senate unanimously confirmed Judge Ozerden. Since taking the bench, Judge Ozerden has served the nation and the people of South Mississippi with distinction. He's presided over 50 jury trials and issued more than 1,300 decisions covering a broad range of complicated civil and criminal issues uh, that a federal judge encounters. During his time as a trial judge, Judge Ozerden has had his decisions appealed more than 300 times. The Fifth Circuit has reversed his decisions only 13 times. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, he presided over a number of contentious lawsuits related to insurance liability. He has also provided over a num presided over a number of cases involving admiralty law and offshore drilling, two issues of particular importance to the Fifth Circuit. Judge Ozerden has been more than just a successful lawyer and judge. He's also been a leader in his community. He has served as a mentor to students at Gulfport High School, before becoming a judge, he served as president of the Gulfport Chamber of Commerce, board member of the Rotary Club, Gulfport treasurer, and vice president of the Gulfport Business Club, and as a board member of the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chamber of Commerce. In 2003, he was named uh, Volunteer of the Year by the Gulfport Chamber. Judge Ozerden is also a man of faith. 
He has had leadership roles in his church, St. Peter's by the Sea. After Hurricane Katrina devastated his church, Sewell served on the committee responsible for rebuilding. I'm confident that Judge Ozerden's service will benefit the Fifth Circuit and the people of the United States for many years to come. I'm glad President Trump has nominated another outstanding judicial candidate, and I look forward to working with my colleagues to ensure Judge Ozerden is confirmed. Thank you. Thank Senator Hyde-Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It is a distinct honor and privilege to be here today to introduce and recommend Judge Sewell Ozerden to serve on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. I'm grateful to you and Ranking Member Durbin and the distinguished members of the committee for the opportunity to speak in strong support of Judge Ozerden. Judge Ozerden is a native son of Mississippi. He grew up in Mississippi, practiced law in Mississippi, and now a district court judge in the beautiful city of Gulfport, Mississippi. He is eminently well qualified. He is fair, thoughtful, and will be an outstanding federal court of appeals judge. <laughs> judge Ozerden is a well-respected judge, and he will be an excellent addition to the court. Not only does he have the support of Senator Wicker, myself, he also had the support of the late Senator Thad Cochran. He has the respect and admiration of the people of Mississippi. His record of service to our country and to the people of Mississippi is exemplary. The judiciary will be well serviced by his prudence, fair-mindedness, leadership, and the knowledge of the law. A colleague who practiced law alongside the judge said, he consistently found him to embody and practice the highest ideals of our profession. He is widely known in our profession and community for his high intellect, impeccable ethics, and his pleasant collegiality. Another person who has known the judge for more than 25 years said that he truly earned his stellar reputation among the legal profession and business community as a strong conservative judge who strictly follows the Constitution. Finally, a former county sheriff stated, his beliefs were always well written, well reasoned, and persuasive. As a member of the law enforcement community, I can vouch for the fact that he is highly regarded by law enforcement, both as an attorney, as a judge, and has an outstanding track record. Judge Ozerden has an impeccable credentials, and it's very clear he is well qualified by ability, education, and experience to serve as an appellate judge. Judge Ozerden has an inspirational story as a son of immigrants and as a naval aviator. During his private practice years, he has represented law enforcement and local government entities with great success. In 2007, he has served as an outstanding federal district court judge and was confirmed unanimously to this post. Over the last 12 years, he has earned that unanimous vote, I assure you. Judge Ozerden is a careful, principled, and fair-minded jurist. Litigants in his courtroom can expect a prepared, smart, and respectful judge. He has presided over nearly 70 trials to verdict or judgment, including 50 jury trials. He also has the experience on the Fifth Circuit. He has sat by designation at the request of then-chief Judge Edith Jones on more than 15 cases. On top of all of that, Judge Ozerden is a dedicated community volunteer and a leader in his church. My colleague, Senator Wicker, and I are thankful that President Trump has nominated such an experienced and impressive candidate to this vacancy. We are proud to have returned our blue slips, recommending approval of Judge Ozerden's nomination and his confirmation by the Senate. Additionally, we are pleased that the American Bar Association rated him as well qualified to serve on the Fifth Circuit. Mr. Chairman, Judge Ozerden is a man who is admired by all who come to know him and is a widely respected person of great integrity. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals will be enhanced by his presence. I am proud of the recommendation Senator Wicker and also, as I said, the late Senator Conklin and President Trump have made to the Senate. I am happy to support a distinguished veteran and a distinguished judge who has spent more than half of his adult life in, country, in service to his country. 
I urge the Judiciary Committee to approve this nomination. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.